Okay, okay, listen up. Listen up, all right. Okay, take two parts plutonic quartz. Yeah. All right, I need one part cesium. All right, and a bottle of water. Ah, 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 ah. I'm not actually gonna show you how to make concentrated dark matter. That was just a, te a test, an elaborate test to make you more assertive. And if you have any idea what I'm talking about, you passed. And you just might be a contender on tonight's Rick and Morty theme quiz. Yeah, Rick, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty night. Yeah, yeah, right now, it's, it's happening now, right now. That's how we do it here on HQ. I don't know if I could do this Rick voice all night. I'm your brave little hoster driving a toaster, the boss with the Szechuan sauce. You're wubba lubba dub dub, bud. Mr. Me asks the transdimensional Trebek. Scott Rogowski, C-137, live from the Nigerian simulation of a simulation inside another giant simulation with Robin's niece and nephew, Morgan and Ben, hello, and happy birthdays to Lara Akal, Brandon James Wood, and the nose of Raleigh. I don't know what that is. Tonight, you need to master all universes and all 12 Rick and Morty related questions to win your share of the grand prize. I'm talking 25. Hundred dollars. Think of all the mega seeds you can buy with that kind of cash. I need, you need the me you make mega trees, get the, me the mega fruit, you get the mega seeds. I assume they're quite expensive. Maybe you can just get one. But you're also earning points when you answer questions. And tonight we are entering a dimension where points are multiplied, uh, not by three, not by five. No, let's go all the way to ten. Yeah, ten times multiplier on all those points. Those points help you level up even quicker. And they're going to supercharge that season finale jackpot. Let's check in on that right now. We're already over 100K. Now we're at 107,035 dollar reduce. You know, Rick and Morty is the deadliest show currently available on streaming. So it'll be good to have an extra life handy tonight. Oh, you don't have? You can buy one right now. Mm -hmm. or play five days in a row to get one for free. So come on back after tonight. We're live every night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And get your friends involved. Refer them with your code. And you can also get an extra life for free. Okay, enough housekeeping. It's go time. Remember, you can't just strap on your thinking caps. You got to turn them on, HQDs, okay? T turn them on, and it'll be a leisurely breeze. We, we need to smuggle this quiz through interdimensional customs. Perhaps we'll arrive in the reality where you're an HQ winner. Remember, the glarp zone is for flarping and unglarping only. Let's get down... To the Ricky Morty, with over 460,000 even the game right now. Let's get this Swifty show on the road. Cumero, a numero. Uh, one. Which food did Rick famously turn himself into? A spicy plumbus pickle or Rick's nest soup? Is this a camera? Is everything a camera? Starting with the basics here, folks. Rick turns himself into this former cucumber just to test himself and to get out of family counseling. Boom! Big reveal! He's a pickle! Pickle Scott! What do you think about that? Pickle Scott and Pickle Rick. I think he did it better. 366,079 are flipping the pickle to Q2. What is the name of Rick's handy device that allows him to jump dimensions? Portal gun, Mario Party Phaser, or Fortnite Super Soak? You know, the key to Rick's dimension hopping adventures is this handy little device he invented years ago. It's easy to jump in and out of trouble when you're packing your... Portal gun! Whoa. Portal gun. 369,991. Oh! We just entered a world where savage questions don't exist. Or maybe we didn't. We're gonna find out. But before we get to question three, let me tell you about what's happening the rest of the week here on HQ tomorrow. We're honoring Black History Month with some Black History Trivia. Yeah, that's a hard right turn from Rick and Morty. We, we, we go the whole gamut. We run the whole spectrum here at HQ. 9 p.m. tomorrow, Black History Night on HQ. And Sunday, the Oscars may be happening on your TV screen without a host. But we got one here in HQ for our Oscars party, and it's a big one. One winner takes all, all $10,000. Will you win Best HQD? Get those speeches ready, kids. Oscars night, Sunday, 9P, 10K. Okay, Q3. Rick's feathered friend who pops up throughout the series is known as who? Real big bird, bird person, or bird man? He's one of Rick's oldest friends. They were even in a band together. He comes from a land of gender neutral pronouns. Bird man may have won best picture, but it's taking home worst answer here 
at Q3. Bird person is the word person. Bird person. 196,917 of you taking shelter on Bird World. Might even have jobs, possibly as worm ranchers at Q4, but we did lose about, ooh, look at that, 190,000? So almost half of you there? Brutal, Q3. Let's see Q4. According to the lyrics, which of these actions should you do if you want to get swifty? Sit on the floor, clap your butt, or take off your pants. Of course, Rick and Morty had to write a song to save Earth from interplanetary American Idol. Getting swifty calls for you to do something else on the floor that we just can't say here. But you gotta take off your pants first. Hey, take your pants off. It's swifty time today. Oh, that, that rocks. That slaps. And that is the safest clip we can use, of course, from that episode. <laughs> Take off your pants is your answer here. 193,873. Not taking anything off yet. Keeping that, keep that thinking cap strapped on. And call me Mr. Bulldops at Q5. The space city where millions of Ricks and Mortys form their own society is known as what? New Rick City, the Citadel, or Rick Lantis. Starting to get a little deeper here. You had only three seasons. Come on, you should have seen every episode 40 times by now. An infinite number of ricks across an infinite number of dimensions need a place to hang with their favorite person themselves. And that place is the Citadel. Yeah, Citadel, 176,644. Got this one right. Experiencing gravity outages in East Sanchez Heights with me, NQ6. What is the first task Rick gives to me, Mr. Meeseeks? Does he help Jerry's golf game open a mayonnaise jar or clean the bathroom? So we really start to get harder, folks. A little trickier here, Q6, the halfway point. The must-have accessory for the helpless family, the Meeseeks box, summons a helper who can only leave when his task is complete. Hey, Mr. Meeseeks, look at me! It's not so easy for Jerry's golf game, but opening mayonnaise is a snap. The Meeseeks fulfills the request. All done! Wow! And then it stops existing. It was the mayonnaise jar first, before the golf game. Let's see how many of you remembered that one. Oh, very good, very good. Very impressed, 245,686. Keeping your shoulders squared and head down at Q7. Past the halfway point. We're going where few HQs have gone before. Q7, which of these is not a featured attraction at Anatomy Park? Bladder Falls, Tilt a Hurl, or Alveoli Forest? You don't agree to have a theme park built inside you if things are going great. The rides at Anatomy Park include Pirates of the Pancreas, very realistic. Bladder Falls, Alveoli Forest in the lungs, and lots of cage diseases, but no Tilt a Hurl. Mm-mm. No, maybe at, at your local amusement park, but not 105,847 knew this one, 145,000 did not. Another brutal question. We're heading for the colon at Q8. Which film's director lends his name to the misshapen humans that Rick and Morty abandoned? Dune, Fitzcarraldo, or Videodrome? Remember when Morty's love potion goes wrong? Rick's solution makes it worse by turning the world into horrible Cronenberg monsters. Name for David, David Cronenberg, of course, director of body horror classic Videodrome. Death to Videodrome! Long live the new flesh! And the 48,801 surviving this savage... Savage question! At Q8! Ouchie! Wowie! We just lost about 90k there. 48,801 are portaling to Q9 with me. After that, Tuffy, while channel surfing his interdimensional TV, Rick comes across an ad for which of these products? A car that sneezes, augmented crocodile, or gazorpazorp pop cereal. Rick's got that good pirate cable hookup, supplying channels from all different dimensions, featuring ads for fake doors, man vs. car battles, all sorts of weird shows, and this commercial. It's the brand new Sneezy XL. The horn when you honk it makes a sneeze noise. <coughs> The official car of Mr. Sneezy 3D. A car that sneezes. And we got a... Another savage question. Back to back. Losing 40K at Q9. A lot of you wanted those Gazorpazorp pops. 18,692. You knew it was Sneezy. Deezy. Mick. 
Deluxe. You're getting Q10. Which of these is a listed reason for dropping off your Jerry at the Jerry Burry Daycare Center? Beth dumped him again. Annoying me or Earth went missing? Starting to get very trivial at Q10. A stowaway Jerry can derail a whole adventure, but luckily the Jerry Burry Playland is waiting to take one off your hands if the Earth is under siege, he's gonna tell Beth, or he's just too annoying. Don't forget to check the reason for your drop-off. Trust me, Morty. I've heard stories from other Ricks. Jerry's don't tend to last five minutes off of Earth. You're doing great! If you put annoying me, 15,794 of you are. Come, let's go watch Midnight Run with the director's commentary. At Q11, which hitmaker does Earth's president not call for when the giant Cromulan head demands a hit song? Pharrell, Justin Bieber, or Billy Corgan? Show me what you got! I want to see what you got! Uh, the Earth's most famous hitmakers are killed at the Grammys. Not in real life, it's part of the show. And the president calls for them all. Uh, the... Uh, look. Get me for real. Randy Newman, Billy Corgan, and The Dream. The Dream? He wrote Umbrella and Single Ladies? Uh, Justin Bieber. Not mentioned here. 8,008. 72, I'm putting all of you under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, A, A, at Q12, the winner's umbrella. It all boils down to this for the 8,872 of you who've gotten so far, traveled across the universes, all the dimensions. You're at Q12. Those points multipliers probably helped you big time tonight, and maybe you'll be walking away with some cash as well. Why not? Q12. What is the correct name of the characters in the original animated short that inspired Rick and Morty? Doc and Marty, Doctor and Marty, or Doc and Marty spelled differently? You know the show, but do you know its history? Creator Justin Roiland made this short way back in 2006 as an obvious Back to the Future spoof, but he quickly fell in love with the characters and made them into something new. Rick and Morty. Originally, they were... Doc and Maharty, well, an MH, and a lot of you knew it. Congratulations, 5,120. You are our winners tonight, baby! <laughs> To the 5,120 of you, you all win Appley Awards. And 48 or 49 cents. Woo, doggy. Do not spend that all in one place, people. Lad333, you're a winner. Trijan Jave, Elvi48, Cena5, 11 Nasser, you knew you're Rick and Morty, and I assume you're Simpsons. E Lorraine, PD Pebs, and 8 Cash1309. Big up, big ups to all of you. I could not be prouder. 100% accurate statement. I could not be prouder. <sighs> We're here. We're in the winner's circle. Hey, come back tomorrow night. My man! You want to come back tomorrow night? Come back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. We're doing Black History Trivia. Honoring Black History Month here on HQ. That's tomorrow night. Do you know who George Washington Carver was? You've got 24 hours to figure it out. Hint. Peanuts. And Sunday, Oscar night, winner take all, $10,000. Will a winner be born along with that star from the movie with Lady Gaga? Will you be the winner who's born? Go to the bathroom, call your mom, and then from the bathroom, make that phone call. Come back in 10 minutes. I'm just trying to say, come back in 10 minutes for words. Do whatever you got to do. It's too personal. I don't want to get into it. Words is happening. 9.30 with Anna Royceman. And if you're in New York City, come see me tonight in about an hour at Subculture on Bleecker Street. I am going to run there right now. The rest of you, I'll see back here on HQ tomorrow night. Until then, this has been Scott Rogowski signing off saying, The world's full of idiots who don't understand what's important. And they'll tell us to, 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 to tear us apart, HQDs. But if you stick with me, I'm going to accomplish great things, HQDs. And you're going to be part of them. And together, we're going we're to run around. We're going to do all kinds of wonderful things, HQDs. Just me and, me and you. You and me. The outside world's our enemy. We're the only friends we've got, HQDs. It's just Scott and his HQDs. Scott and his HQDs and their adventures. Scott and HQDs forever. Forever and ever. For a hundred years. Scott and HQD running around. Scott and HQD time all day long. Forever. Hundred days. Scott and HQDs forever. Hundred times. 
over and over, scottnhqsadventures.com, www.scottnhqs.com adventures, all 100 years, every minute, www.adventures.com.